Imagine waking up one day and realizing that the two halves of your brain couldn't talk to each other anymore. What if one side of the brain knew something, but the other had no clue? Or what if your left hand could make decisions without your right hand even knowing why? This isn't science fiction. This is a real neurologic condition known as split brain syndrome. In this video, we're gonna explore what happens when the connection between the two hemispheres of the brain is severed, how it affects your perception and behavior, and what it reveals about the fascinating complexity of the human brain. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Hefflinger, a board certified neurosurgeon with over 25 years of experience in both brain and spinal surgery. Throughout my career, I've worked with patients suffering from various neurologic conditions, including things like epilepsy, brain injuries, and even stroke. Today, I wanna to take you deep into one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in neuroscience, the split brain phenomenon. This condition unveils the brain's hidden complexity and shows the remarkable ways our minds adapt. By exploring how the brain functions when its two hemispheres are disconnected, we gain valuable insights into perception, cognition, and the very nature of human consciousness. So let's dive in. Our brain is one of the most intricate and powerful systems in the human body. It processes everything we see, feel, and experience. But what happens when the two halves of the brain stop communicating? To understand this, let's start with a basic framework. Think of the brain as a highly sophisticated network rather than a single unified organ. It's divided into two hemispheres. There's the left hemisphere or left brain and the right hemisphere or right brain. Between them lies the corpus callosum. And this is a dense bundle of over 200 million nerve fibers that serve as the primary communication highway between both sides. It rapidly transfers information back and forth, ensuring that both hemispheres work in unison. Imagine if this connection were severed. Suddenly, the two halves of the brain would be functioning independently of each other without sharing information. This is exactly what happens in patients with split brain syndrome, a condition that can result from either damage to the corpus callosum or more commonly, from a surgical procedure called a corpus callosotomy. But why would doctors ever choose to cut this vital connection? Why would anyone undergo a corpus callosotomy? Well, one of the most severe neurologic disorders is epilepsy, or also known as seizures, a condition that causes uncontrollable electrical activity in the brain. In extreme cases, seizures can spread from one hemisphere of the brain to the other, causing life-threatening complications. To prevent this, Neurosurgeons may perform a corpus callosotomy, a surgical procedure that severs the corpus callosum to stop seizures from spreading. While this surgery doesn't cure epilepsy, it can greatly reduce the severity of seizures and improve a patient's quality of life. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please subscribe to my channel. This procedure comes with an intriguing side effect. Each hemisphere of the brain begins working separately as if two independent minds coexist within one person. The split brain experiment, a mind divided, to truly understand what happens after this procedure, we turn to groundbreaking research conducted by Roger Sperry and Michael Gazzaniga. This was performed in the 1960s. Their work, which won a Nobel Prize, revealed stunning insights into how the two brain hemispheres function when disconnected. One of their most famous patients, known as WJ, underwent a split brain procedure to control his epilepsy. When tested in a lab setting, his behavior astonished researchers. To better understand this phenomenon, I need to first explain to you what normal vision is or how it works. The left visual field is processed by the right side of the brain or right hemisphere, and the right visual field is processed by the left hemisphere or left side of the brain. Normally, the corpus callosum allows these two sides to share information. How split brain patients see the world. Let's do a simple thought experiment. Imagine you are a split brain patient. If an object, say an apple, is shown to your um, right visual field, your left hemisphere processes it. Since the less left hemisphere controls language, you can easily name the apple and describe it. But if the same apple is shown in your left visual field, your right hemisphere sees it, but it cannot speak. When asked to name the object, you won't be able to say it or what it is because speech is on the left side of your brain. However, if given a pen, your left hand, which is controlled by the right side of your brain, can draw the apple without you consciously knowing it. This phenomenon is fascinating, yet eerie. The two halves of the brain are no longer aware of each other's experiences. Can one hand keep secrets from the other? Studies have found that split brain patients sometimes experience conflicts between their two hands. For instance, one patient was asked to button up their shirt with the right hand only for his left hand to immediately unbutton it, as if each hemisphere had opposing attentions. Another patient 
picked up objects with their left hand without understanding why, since their speaking hemisphere wasn't aware of the action. These behaviors highlight how our two hemispheres normally work in harmony, but when separated, they act independently, almost like two separate minds coexisting in one body. What this tells us about the brain. Split brain research has provided profound insights into how the human brain is wired. Number one, our consciousness is not as unified as we think. It's a complex network of specialized systems working together. Number two, the brain is incredibly adaptable. And number three, each hemisphere can function semi-independently, a reminder of just how modular brain functions are. So what does split brain syndrome tell us about human nature? It reveals that our perception of ourself, our memories, and even our actions are not as singular as we believe. This was just a brief glimpse into the world of split brain research. Would you like to see more videos on brain plasticity, memory, and even consciousness? As a neurosurgeon, I've witnessed countless examples of the brain's remarkable capabilities. If you're interested in learning more about medical conditions, my life as a neurosurgeon, or other interesting topics, subscribe to my channel.